All right, so now that we have the keyboards all wired up, it's time to test them with QMK. So uh, we head over here. Uh, let's see. All right, so take a look at this wiring diagram over here. And also I'll just bring down this here as well so that it's uh, easier to see. And also bring down this here as well. All right, so just a terminal there, you know? All right, so we're gonna basically follow the exact wiring here. So grab your controllers here. Uh, let me actually move this thing uh, down here, like so. Uh, yeah, maybe even make it a little bit bigger, I don't know. Yeah, that, sh that should be good to go. All right, so here we are. Now, start off with the left side, you know, all of them are kind of the same. But yeah, see, so these are the rows, and the rows are going here. So the one at the very bottom, which is brown is going into nine okay so yeah it's a little bit backwards but should be all right okay yeah just pop them in there nicely all right so then it's red And we can test these uh, keyboards independently, which is what we'll do first. Come on, oh, Jesus. All right, so that's all the rows that are in. That's great. Okay. Christ. All right, what's next? Next is the columns. Now the columns start with, so the black one needs to be at um, A2. Now what the heck? Okay, so A2 is all the way up there. And uh, 10 is yellow. So we'll start with yellow. So yellow at the very bottom. And then just keeps on going up as normal. So yeah. And we'll also test the um, LEDs in uh, this video as well. And then the next video will be just um, kind of gluing everything in. So gluing the lights and stuff like that. For the LEDs. All right. I think I'm mining. Oh, it's all good. Yeah. Yeah, next is purple. Then it's gray kind of color. Then it's white and then black. Get in there. All right, great. Okay, now. <laughs> so now I just kind of want to squish in the wires a little bit, um, not too much. There we go. So yeah, that'll do for now. Now we just need to grab a USB cable.
All right. And also grab something to reset the pins. So plug this side in. And then just before you plug it into your uh, computer, hold down the button on the left here. So this will unlock the boot, or this will boot it into the bootloader. So yeah, do that. And at the same time, uh, plug it into the PC. All right. And so if we open up a file manager, we should see that we have a, a RPI2. So just uh, have that mounted. All right. So next we're actually going to build the firmware. Uh, well, before we do that, we might as well just turn this upside down or turn this the right way around, <laughs> I should say, so that when we flash the firmware, the uh, keyboards won't, you know, or it won't like start fucking spamming keys. Anyway, uh, so let me go into this scene here. So yeah, now to compile the firmware, uh, we are going to build, be building it for the left side first. So uh, let me just run my macro here. All right. So left, then the key map will be test. And we don't need to do that. So this is your command basically that you'll need. So let me just uh, zoom in here a little bit. Oh, wrong way. Okay, hang on. Okay, there we go. Yeah. So it's just make clean and QMK flash and then the keyboard. So uh, you will need to have the QMK binary installed and you will also need to obviously download this or my uh, firmware and you will need to git check out uh, rtm dactyl uh, to be in the right branch so yeah um right so anyway the test config is right here let me just uh, do that so let's see what the fuck do we have here Okay, so I have two layers here for some fucking reason. Um, in the test, yeah, I suppose I was testing the RGB test fucking thing. So uh, for now, I think that's the only one. Yeah, so for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to comment this out. And I'm going to replace this with just normal kind of key, key codes. So let's see, uh, KC... A C uh yeah let's go A and then K C uh B all right so yeah we'll test the RGBs later but I just want to see if all the buttons actually work now all right so yeah and then for the right side you will obviously you know split right so flash that. So yeah, it should auto detect um, your keyboard once it's plugged in. And so yeah, there we go. So before I type anything, I'm gonna type in cat. So this is just like, you know, kind of a buffer, uh, just in case anything messes up. So now if we go to cam with desktop, I'll actually move this over here a little bit uh, since we don't need it right now. Okay, so now we just need to go through all the buttons. So yeah, seven, eight. Oh wait, I think I'm a fucking donkey. I flashed the wrong one. <laughs> um, yeah, that was I. Yeah, I'm I'm fucking stupid today. Jesus Christ. Um, so yeah, I no, I did flash the right one. Seven, eight. Let me let me check the fucking thing again. So it should be zero. 
Um, hang on. There is something fucked up going on here. <laughs> Rules MK. Um, let's see what the heck. There was a, yeah, there it is. Okay. This is what we're missing from the test. Yeah, so I haven't actually um, used this in a while, so <laughs> that's why. So yeah, you need to define this to be able to use the flash commands properly. Um, so yeah, we're going to flash it again. So that way it's going to actually use the correct, um, correct fucking thing for it. So we're going to need to uh, reboot this into, into the bootloader again. So unplug it from the PC, uh, stick this thing in the reset, make sure it's actually pressed properly. And while it's pressed, plug it in, then release the button. And it should mount on your drive. Then all you just need to do is just actually mount it so QMK detects it. All right. So now it should actually be the proper firmware. So this should be zero. And it is. Okay, so that's good. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then whatever this is. So just make sure it's actually different fucking buttons. Make sure all of them are working. All right, so yeah, that's a success. So that's good. We can go ahead with uh, flashing this one now. Or actually, before we flash this, that one, um, let me test the RGBs. So if you bring over the RGB strip that we prepared in an earlier video, uh, we can literally just take the whole lot. So I'm just gonna set this down on the floor and then we just need to hook this up to the keyboard. So I'm going to unplug the keyboard first. Like so. And then to hook up the LEDs, uh, we need to... Yeah, so this is ground, this is data, and then this is 5 volts. Now, I don't actually remember what the heck I set the data pin to. Um, so let me go to the code here um, the data pin should probably be inside here yeah so the pin is um, GP29 now what the fuck is GP29 who the heck knows so we need to so over here let me move this thing back <laughs> yeah so over here um, I have a link here to the pinouts so we just need to find out what a GP29 is. So if we scroll down, so it is a tree by the looks of it. Okay. So, all right, so just fucking heat that out of the way. Now a tree is right is it really? Did I really put a tree? Interesting. Okay. Huh. That's weird. I would have rather put a different one, but okay. Well, whatever. So anyway, in this case, the red one goes to a tree. Like so. Okay, and then the brown one needs to go to ground pin, and there is a ground pin right here. 
So that's great. Come on, get in, you fucking. Okay, there we go. And then the uh, this fucking thing needs to go here. The five volts. Like so, just gotta push it in. All right. So now this LED should light up the second I fire this thing back up. So let's see if that's the case. Okay. See, so I'm just gonna kind of have it like this so that I can see all of the LEDs here. Then I'm just gonna plug this back in. And uh, this should be all that we need. All right, yeah, there we go. So it turned on with the red light. So yeah, you just gotta check if um, every single strip is lighting up fully. And in our case, as you can see, it is lighting up fully, so that's good. So we can unplug the keyboard once again. And we can do the same procedure with the second, or with the right half. All right. So I'm just gonna leave this one like this because we are gonna test both of them um, at the same time, because that's also important. So each half sh needs to be able to power the other half. Um, so yeah. All right, so for this one, it's the same thing. Um, let's go back to my diagram here. So yeah, we'll start off with the columns. So, so yeah, this one is nine. So yeah, that's the one at the very bottom. That's the brown one. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we'll literally just go in like this. Okay, that's fine. So brown, red, orange is next, okay, then yellow, Okay, then green and blue. Is that right? Yeah, so brown, orange, or brown, red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. Is there meant to be black as well somewhere? Oh, fuck. No, blue is the last one, yeah. Okay, so that's fine. Okay. That's not in at all, okay. All right, great. Now for the other side, it is going to start off with, uh, so 10 is black. Okay, so it's gonna start off with black on this side. So, uh, God, this is so fucking fiddly, holy shit. Okay, well, anyway, here we go. Okay, so black, uh, gray, well, it's a white. Yeah, it's white, okay, again. Black, white, come on, fuck's sake. Then gray. Then purple. Then what's next? Blue. Okay. Okay. 
then green and yellow. Okay. All right, then finally yellow. Okay, great. So yeah, then just shove these back in here as best as you can. Jesus, it's going all over the fucking place. <laughs> okay, there we go. It's going fucking nowhere, mate. Okay. So yeah. Plug this bad boy in. And then also hold down the button while you're plugging in the computer. Let's see. Yeah. There we go. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. So yeah, you should see the thing here and then just mount it. So QMK sees it. And then here, uh, all that we got to do is just do the same thing, basically. Oh, Christ. All right. So yeah, we want to flash it, but we want to flash the right side. Oh, yeah. And also drag this over, otherwise it's going to fucking spam keys. All right. All right, there we go. So now we just type in cat. And then let's test every single button. Seven, eight, nine, zero. Uh, equals that. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's good. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Oh, what the heck? What did I set these to? Don't tell me I set them to buttons. Or arrow keys. Yeah, I fucking did. Fuck's sake. Yeah, the only thing I don't like about arrow keys is you see the way they produce, like, fucking... But whatever, as long as they work, it's fine. Okay, then... Okay, why isn't this one working? What the fuck? What is this key here? Oh. <laughs> so this is going to the momentary layer of clear. <sighs> fuck me. Okay. Um. Yeah, I forgot about that. We're just gonna ignore it for now. Uh, and pray that it's fine. Because, like, honestly, I just don't care. <laughs> Okay, so that's that, that's that, that's that. Okay, so all of them seem to be fine. I highly doubt this key's broken, so it should be good. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hook up the RGB strip as well. Let's... So I'm just gonna disconnect from the power here. Flip it over, grab the strip. And then just hook it up. Jesus, this is fucking stuck in here. Okay. So what did I say the fucking pin was? A2 or something like that? Something insane anyway. What was A2? Wait, A2 is... No, it was A3, wasn't it? 29? Yeah, it was A3, okay. Right. So, yeah. That will be red. So, God, this is so fucking awkward. Holy shit. That might be there to plug in the ground first. 
more mean. Let's see. God, this is like, I fucking hate fucking electronics, man. <laughs> they are so fucking fiddly. Holy shit. Okay. So, fucking put that shit in there. And then put this shit in here for some fucking reason. Yeah, I think it's because I was like fucking testing shit and I just left it at, at this pin. Honestly, I could not be bothered fucking changing it now. All right, and then the five volts goes into our little splitter here. Like so. Christ, that was fucking painful. Anyway, let's see. Oh yeah, fucking the wrong way as well. Jesus, lower the fucking shop. Okay. Shove him in. Kind of have this guy fucking facing outside so I can test something. All right. Plug him in. And there we go. Yeah, so all of the LEDs are working from what I can see. Which is great. So now what I'm going to do is I am actually going to flash the like my actual firmware <laughs> to this fucking thing uh, simply because I want to actually test if this fucking button is actually working. So uh, let me just. So I have a macro set up here. For the compile so <laughs> so yeah we'll flash the right one first and yeah oh yeah i suppose we'll need to plug it in with show won't we all right so yeah better do that okay so the reset pin and foxy do it. Okay. Now it's mounted. Lift him up. Like so. And then mount him in. All right. Oh, yeah. Um. I forgot I have a password for this fucking layout, so I'll need to um, I'll need to flash the other half of the keyboard now. God damn it! Fucking complicating my life as always. Yeah, yeah. Well, it is what it is, and it isn't what it isn't. So yeah. Well, at least we'll be able to see like if the LEDs are actually proper now. Can we flash the real fucking layout? All right. So yeah, there we go. Should mount in. Like so. Okay. God, this is going to be fucking awkward to use. But anyway, here we are flashing the left now. Also, don't forget to actually mount it in the OS so that QMK picks it up. Great. So, yeah, that looks good. Now, to actually get this whole fucking thing working, uh, make sure you unplug it. And we need to plug in the both halves, so I need to find um, the USB or the, the jack. Alright. So I bought a pair of nice ones here. Amazon, so this is the T T T R S one. So make sure it is using four fucking connectors here 
or three rings because um, we actually need them. Some cables they come with three, they come with two rings, which is not good enough for us. Technically, it is, but not the way I set up the firmware because uh, I wanted to offload a lot of the stuff to the actual uh, Pico processor. Because uh, you could use this fucking thing, but with two, with two of these rings, but then you'll have to have the uh, the serial communication. Um, like it, it will, it won't be serial. I think it'll be IC two or something like that. And uh, serial is a uh, nicer for our case. <laughs> so yeah, whatever. Just plug these bad boys in. And this should power both keyboards at the same time. And with the way we set up the firmware, it doesn't matter which uh, you plug into the keyboard or to the computer, which side, I mean. All right. Okay, so seems okay. All right, so if I just type in uh, my password here. All right, so yeah, very good. So you can see uh, if I just go inside here. So yeah, this button's working. So yeah. Oops. Where's I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a bit fucking. There we go. No, there my friends. So yeah, it's all good. Uh, let's control C that shit. So yeah. Uh, by the way, if your um, keyboard doesn't work, so if some of the buttons doesn't work, or it starts outputting random fucking shit, uh, what you need to do is you need to. First of all, check all of the soldier connections, and if they are fine, it could actually be just the key that's dead, so or there could be just something shorting out. So yeah, um, it's a huge pain to fix if you don't get it right on the first time, <laughs> which is really annoying. But um, it is what it is. I got lucky, or I got careful, or I was careful. I mean, since both of these flashed perfectly on the first time so yeah that that's that is what it is so yeah for this firmware fucking thing um i'm probably gonna omit this just so that you guys are um not confused when you're following this guide so uh let me just uh, add both of these to the repo here, and then we'll end the video there. So, stop us. Keep add, not pass, keep add. Add this fucking thing, and this fucking thing. And keep and me. Um, um, update best map to be the same as in the video or something like that yeah that looks good to me so push that shit so now when you boys download the firmware you'll have the exact same test setup so you can just follow the video all right so yeah there'll be one more video after this just kind of securing all of these leds everything kind of in place so um, I'll see you guys there.